So guys, I'm in third year of management engineering bachelor degree in Italy, and I've seen so many people leave engineering because they didn't know how to study. No, they didn't know why their study was not effective and they lacked perspective. Point is, I'm studying right now for this semester's exams. I'm studying GOA, Management of Business Organizations, and this exam has both a written part and an oral part. Now, this is the perfect example for explaining how to make a study method effective. All I'm going to say is based on the book Ultra Learning by Scott Young. So props to him for writing this amazing book. Anyway, since it's an oral exam, many of my classmates I noticed are just following lessons and they are literally reading this thing. They're reading their notes or they are reading the slides that the teacher gave us. Some of them are also doing exercises, which is great. But the point is that a very few percentage of them are actually writing questions. And I know what you might be thinking. Writing questions? Why? Well, because in the same way as you know how to solve a math problem only if you are familiar with the matter and you have already solved simpler problems, in the same way you'll be better at speaking at the oral part of the exam and answering the questions of the professor only if you have already practiced answering questions. Most of my comrades will only have on their mind what they have read which is okay but it's slower now i'm not saying that you must learn by heart every answer to every question because that's impossible but don't worry during your sleep and this thing i read it on the why we sleep book by matthew walker our brain merges together this knowledge and creates a huge database of information which we can retrieve better at the oral exam if we have answered to a few questions about the topic before. So what am I actually doing? Basically, I'm going through my notes and going through the slides and I'm writing down questions. So for example, what are the three main concepts of the manager perspective? What is the difference between management perspective and sociological perspective? And things like that. I really want to stress this thing, not the questions that the teacher may ask me at the oral exam. These are questions in order to make my brain reason on the top, to extrapolate basically three things, which are facts, concepts, and methods or practice. Facts are like definitions. For example, the definition of organization for this curve is a group of individuals going after a purpose, performing coordinated actions. Then there are concepts which are different, is the way that objects connect with each other. For example, the difference between a functional structure and a divisional structure. And finally, there is practice, which is, for example, how do you solve an equation? Now, this exam in particular has little to no practice at all, because it has practice, but they are mainly business cases and you have to reason on it and I'm doing that too but the point is that in order to reason on the problem you have to know the facts and the concepts behind it and that's the reason for the questions and this is better than free repetition only because it gives you order it gives you a structure plus I can use this list of question to review to revise in the future now I was lazy I should have done this after every single lecture or even during the lecture and it's way more effective because it's actually what you are required to do during the oral part of the exam. The time to do this method or the time to read again the lecture or to listen again to the lecture because at Polytechnico we have audio and video recording for some lectures. But the point is that the time is equal. So it's not, oh no, I don't have time to do that. No, it's gonna take the same amount of time. This is amazing. Plus it's lower your anxiety because you don't have to read all again before the exam and it gets you real in ground. You either know how to answer a question or you don't know how to answer a question. So here's a checklist to recap. Feel free to make a screenshot and check in the video description for the link to my WhatsApp group. If you are an European, I know you use WhatsApp. We share these kind of things. And also go watch this other video. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.